Hello my most amazing artists. Today we're going to be using oil pastels and crayons to go back and add color to our succulent paintings from last week that we did with ink. If you weren't here or if you really don't like yours, well, you might have a chance to use those ink markers again to make another plant. Now the reason I told you not to color anything in with the ink last week and to leave open spaces was because today we're adding lines, designs, and patterns with those oil pastels. Now the neon ones are brand new and I would advise trying them out because they are going to be pretty cool. So those neon ones you'll have in one bin and you'll have another bin of crayons. You can use both to create different lines, designs, and patterns. This is also called zentangling. When you have a different section for each different design. So I pick one of my leaves and I do a design like maybe zigzags, maybe swirlies, maybe just waves. I'm gonna fill that whole section with that same pattern. Then I'm gonna switch colors and go to another leaf and fill it in. No matter what, I'm always leaving open space because the next thing we're gonna be doing is adding watercolor paint on top of this. So it's super important that I cover everything with oil pastel, but still leave room in between. So I'm just doing lines, designs, and patterns, making sure I leave that space in between so that I can go over it with watercolor paint. I even am about to do my background, and you'll see that in just a second. Now, after I finish adding lines, designs, and patterns with oil pastel, I'll get to add watercolor paint. When I use watercolor paint, it's going to to create a wax resist when I paint over top of it, which will look super duper cool. So when I have watercolor paint, I always dip my water in, or my brush in the water, swirl it around, then go to the paint. I never go to the paint without going to water first. I always dance around in it, change it in between colors, I wash my brush really well, and I never tap it on the side. I always dip, if it starts to drip, wipe it on the lip or the edge of the bowl. Then I'm gonna fill in all of my areas. I fill in the background with one color. For the leaves, I did all green, and it's still gonna show a contrast because of all that oil pastel that I did on the inside, which is super cool. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and do oil pastel, then we get to fill it in with watercolor paint after. All right, artists, have fun today.